Hello and welcome to the weekly Mancast. Today we have a rather exciting episode planned for you, as always. We have, uh, we're going to do the typical Diet Coke and Mentos reaction. So we have our Mentos and we have our Diet Coke. Now we're going to start small with a scale model, if you will, of a 2 liter Coke bottle. We have these tiny um, 335 milliliter bottles. That's about, uh, about a third. No, about a sixth. So I have a uh, 12 ounce or 355 milliliter Diet Coke. The ingredients, I'll just summarize some of them. You got aspartame, caramel color, and carbonated water. Those three together mixed with the Mentos, which has like sugar and glucose syrup and stuff. When you put them in there, it's gonna just blow up because what's happening is the sugar is mixing with the carbonated water which is producing carbon dioxide at an exceedingly fast rate, which really means that it's just going to bubble up. Yeah, but other stuff's going to happen. So basically, you got the isopropyl butane in the back with a side order of fries. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Caffeine, and then you divide it by the square root of, uh, where is it? Beeswax, and then you're good. Okay, so it's important that when I open the bottle and drop in the Mentos, that I open the bottle is, and I drop in the Mentos as quickly as I can after I open the bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out my Mentos dosage first. I'm going to start with two. I'm going to make this simple. Actually, you know what? We'll start with one. Let's get a nice control. That will escalate. So I got my Mentos ready. Now I'm going to open the top. It's already bubbling a little bit, but put in the Mentos and. That was, that was kind of cool, I guess. I... Okay, so this time we're going to try two Mentos in one bottle of Diet Coke. Still, kind of disappointing. Alright, now we're going to do four and seven in, at the same time in two separate bottles. Obviously, the limiting factor here is the cola, because I just put some more in there and it didn't do anything. So clearly, what we need to do at this point is up the cola dosage, not the Mentos dosage. Okay, so this time we're going to use a two-liter bottle and a whole pack of Mentos. <laughs> Once again, our limiting factor is obviously the cola. Oh, I almost made it. Obviously, I got most of the package. Well, okay, maybe I didn't get most of the package in. I got a lot of it in, but I also got a little soaked myself. That was a win right there. Just for fun, we're going to try and see what happens when we cap the uh, bottle with the uh, me uh, Mentos inside, instead of letting the gases escape. Probably a bad idea. How am I going to Go quick. Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gotta try that one again. All right, let me try this again. I'm not very impressed. That was, uh, exciting. I think the last one was more exciting. What happens when I try and open it up? Yes! 
Jesus. <laughs> you know what? It wouldn't be the man cast. I didn't try it afterward. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, that was an interesting test. I yes, think we it was. Something. Yeah, I think we're going to have to increase the scale. Yes. I don't think we need any more Mentos per se, although it doesn't hurt to put more in. I, would say. I don't think it hurts. I don't think it hurts, but I don't know if it helps. No. But it's good to know that we can't put too many Mentos in. Yeah. Okay. Um, needless to say, Diet Coke is a uh, pretty cool thing. It, you know? it is very cool. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite amazing, and it tastes amazingly smooth. It, it, it's amazingly smooth. And uh, did you shake this up on me? No. I may have dropped it, but I didn't shake it up. Oh, good. As long as it wasn't malicious. Anyway, <laughs> the important thing is that later on we're going to have to upscale this test and just see how high we can get this geyser to go. But we're going to wait till it's a little bit nicer outside. Yes. And it's a little bit nicer outside. Yeah. 